What's up guys, Iofo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make free YouTube graphics, that's profile pictures, backgrounds, thumbnails, avatars, using a single website. It's kind of like Pixlr, but it's actually even simpler to use. So before we begin, be sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can break over 1000 likes. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go on panzoid.com, which is P-A-N-Z-O-I-D.com, then go to tools and then click on the Backgrounder 3. Now this online software is used to make any sort of YouTube graphic you want, as well as Twitter graphics. Now in this video, I'm going to be going over how to use the actual software. And after you know how to use it, you can make multiple graphics. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on Start From Scratch. And from there, you're gonna scroll down here and you can see there's already like custom made uh, templates and stuff. Whoops, close that. This custom made templates, but we're going to start from scratch. So we're going to go to the basics and you can select what type of actual graphic you want to make. So YouTube one is a YouTube background. YouTube channel avatar is a YouTube profile picture. There's also thumbnails and a Twitter header, I believe, or a Twitter background. So we're going to go ahead and make a YouTube channel avatar. So the first thing we're going to do is select the background color, which I am going to make maybe like a bluish color and click OK. There we go. Now we can add two more layers onto this color. So if we click on layer one, we can upload an image. So maybe a background image, we can add a preset texture. So if we click on that, you can actually browse through a bunch of textures. So say, for example, you like this pattern over here, you can click on it and then just tone down the opacity so that you can still see the color like so. And that looks pretty cool. And once you add that layer, you can add a second layer on top of that. And you can once again, you know, get a preset texture or you can generate an image. So here you have some different settings you can use to create custom images to overlay on top of this profile picture. So I can go into maybe, you know, a gradient, for example, and I could add a new gradient. It could be a radial gradient and it can be blue, like our actual profile picture. Click OK. And now we have a gradient and I can maybe turn the opacity down for that so you can see everything. And there we go. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and go into the overlay tab and we can add a channel shadow or we can add a fade to the actual profile picture. Now a fade is kind of like a gradient. So if I go ahead and select a radial from sensor fade, as you can see, it fades out the corners, which looks pretty cool. Now the next thing we're going to do is add some text or images. So if you want to add an image, you would click on this image button. But we're going to add some text and we are just going to click on Sprite one and then we can actually change the text we want to change. So we're going to type in maybe Ziovo. And then through this uh, setting menu, we can actually customize the fonts and find a font we like. So maybe Basica, that looks fine, or Baybass. All right, we'll use Basica. There we go, that looks pretty cool. Scroll down, we can change the color. I'm gonna leave it as white. You can add a gradient and change the positioning. So X changes it along the horizontal axis like so, and Y would change it across the vertical axis. So we're gonna keep it in the center. You can also rotate it and change the font size. So we're gonna make it a bit bigger. 150 looks good. We can also add a border if you wanted to. So we can add maybe a black border and make it a bit thicker like so. And we can also add a drop shadow by clicking on and then messing with the shadow as well. Maybe by increasing the actual blur to make it a bit thicker. There we go. And there we go. We're done our profile picture and that was super simple. You can walk through the same process with other graphics as well. And once you're done, just click on download your background and it's going to have a download button. Just click on that. It's going to open up in a new tab and your file is going to download in the downloads folder. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Hopefully software does help you out. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.